You may have noticed when you go to the Transform tab in the Power Query Editor that there's a button called Convert to List. What this does is it converts a query to what is technically a real list. Now we have a query here called Countries List, but it's not a real list. It's still a query. All we did is we removed the duplicates and we removed unwanted columns. To convert it to a real list, I'm going to click this button here, and it'll give us a list of China, Germany, and United States. Convert to List. The symbol changes to indicate that this is a real list. Now how do we use this? We can use it to do dynamic filtering on a query. So for example, I'll go to the customer's query, which just happens to contain a country column. So I'll go across to the country column. If I hit the drop down and I say I want to filter not all the records, but just Argentina and Austria, I can click OK and I just see those records. In the bottom left of my screen says five rows. So five records are from Argentina, Austria and that's up. If I then go and edit this code up here to say this and press enter, I will see those records, 11, that match the countries list. But I'm only seeing Germany. Why am I not, for example, seeing records from United States? If I go to customers and I delete the filter step and I look at my countries, I'll notice that I don't have any from United States. I have them from USA. So let's go back to my countries list. Let's say I want to convert this back to a table. Convert to table. And OK. Then I want to replace, I'll call this back to the same country. Let me press F2 and call this country. Now I want to replace United States with USA. So I'll go into transform and I'll replace values. And I'll replace United States. Oh with USA. And OK. So now I've got USA and Germany, so it should find more than 11 records. If I now convert this back to a list, it's done. And if I now go to Customers, and I go to my Country column, and hit the drop down, so I don't want all of them, I just want Argentina and Austria. My filter's applied. And then if I edit the code regarding that filter to say this, then suddenly I'm seeing 24 rows because I've got customers now from Germany and from the USA. Obviously, I don't have any from China. So the whole idea is I can go to the countries list. I can actually edit this just by choosing convert it to table and OK. I could say replace um, China with, let me just check who would be a good choice here. Oops, turn the filter off. Um, a good choice would be, say, Spain. So I'll go to my countries list, I'll go to transform, I'll replace values, and replace China with Spain. And OK. I'll rename that countries or country, and I'll convert it to a list. Now if I went to any query, and I went to a country column, and I hit the drop down, and chose to filter, and then edited that filter to say that statement there, I would end up with all those records from Spain, Germany, and the United States. So a list is a dynamic way of enabling you to actually filter based on that dynamic list.